Today, I'd like to tell you about the Gridgy Cloud Logger, a free tool that the Gridgy team offers to Delphi engineers everywhere. It can be difficult to track and capture logs on mobile devices and remote machines. Gridgy Cloud Logger assists you by providing an ability to capture those messages and stream them over the wire, even over the internet, to a viewer running on Windows. The Gridgy Cloud Logger is available from the Get It Package Manager inside of Delphi. To install it, you simply go to the Tools menu, select the Get It Package Manager, and type in Gridgy into the search field. That's G-R-I-J-J-Y. This will install the actual Cloud Logger onto your machine, including all example projects and modules. When you're done installing, you'll notice two new icons on your desktop, the Gridgy Log Broker and the Gridgy Log Viewer. If you right-click on the Gridgy Log Viewer and select Open File Location, you'll notice that it has installed a variety of things along with the Get It Package Manager. That includes the Delphi Zero MQ library, which you can find more information about on our blog, as well as the Gridgy Foundation libraries the Gridgy Cloud Logger includes examples for both building a console app as well as various uh, binaries for the viewer as well as uh, examples for the console and examples for FireMonkey. The FireMonkey example shows how you can send all the various types of messages uh, that are supported by the viewer. The Gridgy Log Broker is designed to allow you to dispatch messages to one or more viewers from one or more computers. It could be centrally located on the internet, it could be local to a LAN or network, but it will listen on a fixed port. The log viewer connects to the dispatcher. You just need to provide the address and port of the dispatcher, as well as a service name which represents your unique name for using the dispatcher. Each member of a team could use a different uh, logging name. That way they could all share a common dispatcher. If you open the FireMonkey example included in the folders and then run it, it will show you a variety of ways that you can send messages and what they look like. The first thing you have to do is provide your service name, and my, in this case mine's Log Allen, along with the broker's IP address and port and connect to it. This physically connects you to the dispatcher no matter where it is in the world and provides your unique service name. If we open the viewer, you can see that there's a provided list of messages and if we send an example information message that will appear on the uh, viewer as well as warning messages. You can send a variety of data types like strings, uh, floats, you can send T strings, you can send binary information like T bytes, um, you can send memory dumps, you can even send complex objects and all their properties and fields. Another really cool feature is the memory object tracking. What this allows you to do is to keep track of whether you properly deallocated uh, objects in Delphi. So for example here we're going to allocate some objects update the memory usage table. You'll see that it shows the quantity of each type of object that's currently been allocated, the total quantity as well as a delta between each update. You'll also notice that it shows you the, how, many have, how many new objects have been created of each type. If you deallocate some objects and then you click update again, you'll notice that it shows that there's been a slight change in 
the uh, number of objects that are allocated, including the totals. You can use this to keep track of whether you enter and leave a procedure that everything you thought you allocated got properly deallocated, how much memory everything is allocating, um, and just track uh, whether you clean things up properly. You can see that we deallocated 10 megabytes at this point that we allocated earlier on. It's a handy tool for doing simple object analysis without getting into complex memory leak management. Another feature is what we call live watches. It allows you to send real-time information to the console that you can be viewing. So if you enable the live watch feature and turn on the auto update, you'll see here that the elapsed amount of seconds is incrementing. You can, in the example application, you can see that when we change the custom watch value, it immediately updated in the viewer. So consider that your, your Delphi application could be running on a remote device like an iOS device and sending these messages in real time to a viewer running on Windows somewhere else on the internet. Getting started is pretty simple. All you need is to include the Gridgy.cloud logging unit in your user's clause, provide a line somewhere in your project to connect to your the IP and uh, port plus the service name of your logger, and then anywhere in your project you want to send a message, you can call gridgylog.send. In this case, we're just going to say hello world. This is a very simple example of how this is used. So if I run my project, I have a button, I bring up my viewer, if I click that button, it sends the hello world message to my viewer running on Windows. One other important thing to note is that you'll need to deploy the libraries for 0MQ along with your project using the, the uh, built-in Delphi deployment manager. Um, for each platform, there's a different set of modules. For uh, Android, there is the a, is an Android A file. For iOS, there's also an, um, an, a library. And under the lib folder, you'll find the SOs for Linux, OS X, Win32, and Win64 DLLs. Just simply deploy these with your project. That provides the 0MQ communication stack. You can use this with your, by yourself or with your teams. You could even use this to remotely log messages from a customer site. Thank you for listening to this Code Rage 2019 session on the Gridgy Cloud Logger. For more information, you can visit our blog at blog.gridgy.com and access to our repos as well as source code is available from our github.com Gridgy repo. Thank you very much.